Now we're going to assemble the cruiser's stroller. Here are the parts of the set. The frame with the seat and the safety harness, front and rear wheels, the guardrail in the form of a tray, the rear axle with the brake lever and the set of wheel fasteners, two retaining clips, two protective caps and two hubcaps, the cup holder, the foot muff and the rain cover. Unfolding the frame. Place the frame on a flat surface with the handle facing up. Remove the locking tab on the right side of the stroller and unfold the frame until you hear a click. Done! Now the wheels. Place a rear wheel on the free end of the rear axle. Press the retaining clip pin into the axle, secure it with a protective cap and cover them with a hubcap. Each part should be pressed with a slight pressure until it snaps into place. Do the same for the other side. Assemble the rear axle. Insert the lower ends of the frame into the holes in the axle until you hear a locking sound. Make sure the latches are properly secured. To remove the axle, press the silver tab and slide out the axle. Time for the front wheels. Insert the wheel assemblies into the sockets until you hear a locking sound. Before the first ride, make sure that all wheels are correctly assembled. To dismantle the wheels, press the button above the wheel and slide out the wheel assembly. The cruiser is fitted with pivoted front wheels, which are lockable into position for travelling straight ahead. To lock them in position, slide the ring tab above the wheels. The cruiser's guardrail has a shape of a practical tray. Slide the tray onto the protrusions on both sides of the frame. To remove it, press the buttons on both sides and slide the tray out. The brake is located on the rear axle. You can lock and unlock it by pressing the pedal. To apply the brake, press here. To disengage the brake, press here. The footrest has a four-step adjustment. Lower it using the buttons. Hold them down and adjust the footrest to the desired position. The seat has a smoothly adjustable backrest. It can be adjusted from a lying to a sitting position by means of a buckle. The safety harness is suitable even for newborns. To secure your child, insert the tabs into the central buckle until it clicks. Always adjust the safety belts. The strap protective pads can be removed for cleaning. To do that, unfasten a belt and slide the pad off. The belts can be hitched at different heights to suit the height of your child. To do that, unfasten the shoulder strap. Remove the protector. Run the strap through a different loop. Put on the protector and fasten the strap. Done. The foot muff has two convenient Velcro fasteners. Place the cover under the tray and attach it to the seat frame with the fasteners. Done. The cruiser also comes with a rain cover. It's so big that it will also work well in the nap configuration. Put it on the stroller so that there are no gaps. And do up the Velcro fasteners. The cover protects your child from rain and wind. Slide the cup holder onto the hook on the left side of the stroller. When folding the stroller, the backrest must be fully reclined. Move the slider, press the locking button and lower the handlebar. Apply the locking tab on the side of the frame. That's it. Enjoy your walks with the cruiser.